we're just leaving uh, our Louis Marina, uh, heading to the east side of Loch Lomond. Uh, we're going to uh, stop the boat at Ardleash Bay and we're going to walk uh, along the West Highland Way to Dune by Arbothy. We've been working with National Theatre of Scotland uh, to develop a proposal for a piece of theatre uh, alongside two other artists, Matilda Brown, who's a musician and composer, and a writer, Martin Travers. We've been uh, placing Bothy boxes uh, in Bothy's across Scotland with information uh, and instructions uh, in order to gather material uh, from people's journeys and memories uh, and experiences staying in Bothy's to inform uh, the creation of our theatre piece. had loads of contributions into the Bothy boxes, into the books. One of the main things that we've found is that people use Bothy books as a way of communicating with each other, talking to each other about Bothy trips they've done. Uh, and you see responses week to week on uh, people's journeys. We had a story about uh, somebody going to a Bothy and meeting 10 Australians in the Bothy oh, with cork hats. <laughs> and they spent a night in the Bothy with all these Aussies and had a great night. Uh, we've got stories of people seeking kind of um, escapism, solace and peace in the hills uh, and running away from problems. Um, we've got very happy times, uh, people having small groups walking in the hills and gathering at a Bothy for some music and things. So this Bothy I think originally would have been a, a buyer uh, for cattle. Uh, and there's an old derelict uh, building which uh, I think was used as a bothy for a while just uh, on the hill above it. Well, I'm going to put a box in today, so uh, we'll get a box in here. Fantastic. So you need really a sleeping platform, uh, a fire, some freshly chopped wood in the corner there for us. And I've got some kindling, so we can maybe start a little fire. Not that we need it today. So in the bothy boxes, we have a set of instructions, a notebook, um, a disposable camera uh, some pens and pencils. We are looking for sketches, we're looking for memories, we're looking for moments, the way that people are feeling, journeys that people ha are having, the reasons for coming to these Bothys. Everyone has a different reason for going into the hills and coming to a Bothy and we want to find out a little bit more about that and let that inform our process. One of the other ways that we're collecting material is we've created a kind of micro site, a website blog that's attached to nationaltheaterscotland.com um, called Bothy Box. Um, you can also hit it with uh, bothy-box.co.uk. So this is a virtual box for those that missed the It box. is indeed, yeah. And people have been going on walks and returning and adding to that blog, so that's been good as well. I must say it's just a development project at this stage. Uh, National Theatre Scotland uh, invest in lots of development projects and we'll be pitching our ideas back to them in the coming months. And We believe that stories are the kind of glue that holds history together so we want we want this project to happen we want to create a big piece of theatre for Scotland